Wow, that's a big yacht. Let's see if we can get a view of it here. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Okay, no telling how many people are gonna be in the water. I would say let's try to, oh, I, don't, I think I'm gonna hit a wave here. Oh, we just barely made it over that wave. Can we land this thing? Oh, this is nice. Uh, he says it's not flawless, but it, it's definitely, it feels really stable. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks, and yes folks, it's been a long time since we played this game because the game was no longer available to me to play. But it is, once again, we are in Alpha 2, there is a ton of new things added, everything from a character creator, new missions, new islands, new parts, new uh, physics to the water, uh, graphical things that have happened, there's a lot to go over, the list is huge. So today's episode is going to be morely about the update. We are going to jump back into our career mode and see if we can find some of the new missions and maybe test that out a bit. But if you want in on Alpha 2, the link is down in the description. Hopefully you get in. And I really look forward to just jumping back into this game. So if you're looking forward to jumping back into this game, maybe hit that thumbs up button if you want to see more of it on the channel. But anyways, let's jump right into this. Alright, so we have run into our first new feature of Stormworks and we now have a character creator. So the characters in the first alpha look kind of bland, they all look similar. So now we can finally make them our own. So we're gonna be a male. Uh, let's see, what kind of hairstyles do we got? Oh boy. Okay, let's go with the default one. And my hair is, some people say it's dark brown, some people say it's black. I'm gonna go with the black. And those eyebrows, those are some huge eyebrows. Let's go ahead and change that real quick. Uh, there we go. And, oh, look at that, look at that mustache. Okay, so we got the bars going. Uh, what else? Oh, they got the chops. Oh, we look like a like a captain like an old-timey captain uh, Maybe we're gonna go with this. I like this. Uh, let's see. We got our clothes here I'd like to have a shirt. Let's go with just a normal shirt here uh, Let's go with gray and then we'll oh we'll put on some pants here. All right, we're gonna go with shoes here uh, Looks like we might need to hit the gym for some leg day because our legs are a little skinny but we'll go with those. Uh, that looks good. What else do we have? Extra clothes. Oh, we can have hats now? Uh, beanie, captain hat. That actually looks perfect for my character. Uh, fisherman. Let's see. Hard hat. Police. That's kind of odd looking. Uh, headset. That looks pretty legit for maybe a Coast Guard character. Uh, aviator. Pirate. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Oh, there is a shark on top of our head. We have to go with this. Hold on. I know I like to play kind of legit, but you can't say no to a shark on top of your head. Alright, so let's go with that. Uh, do we have some, uh, oh, we have aviator glasses. Let's go with those. And they have mask? Gas mask, okay. And clothes. Life jacket. That actually looks legit, except for the shark on top of my head. Say if we had the headset or something, this would look like a pretty legit Coast Guard person. Uh, normally life vest or a bright color. Let's go with red here. There we go. I kind of like that. Let's go with that. I know the shark looks a little ridiculous, but I mean, it's a shark on your head. You gotta use it. And whoa. Whoa, we are like right back where we started. Is that our boat? Our boat's upside down. Well, they've added a the new feature uh, to spawning the boat, so we'll check that out. Uh, everything looks like it's in order. Now, if you missed any of the other series, we actually played quite a bit of career mode. Uh, we had just bought this island before the alpha ended. Now, supposedly there's new islands. Uh, there's like a helicopter style island, which I think that's the one we technically have. And I believe there's a couple more. Yeah, supposedly there's a starter helicopter. I don't know if it's gonna be on this or maybe it's gonna be somewhere else, but uh, it's getting kind of dark here. We're gonna go ahead and move. Now, one cool feature, and this was much needed, is the whole fact that you can now click on your vehicles and take them back to the workbench. So if you click on them here, it should, uh, oh, this one kind of, oh, what the heck? All right, we are under the island. Uh, let's go ahead and go around here. So yeah, it takes it back to your home location, which I was being a dumb dumb the first time we played this and I had spawned out a lot of vehicles and I was wondering why am I losing so much money? And I didn't realize every time you spawn a new, or you spawn at the workshop, you're spawning a new vehicle and your other vehicles would stay on the map. So we have got it to where we can just kind of manage our money a whole lot better. I'm, that's a good feature they've added. Uh, it's actually kind of dark right now. So we're going to go up in our bed, go to sleep, maybe see if we get a new mission here. 
And we'll also go over some of the new updates here in Stormworks. Oh, would you look at this? All right, it's like our first night of sleep. We've got a new mission. Now, I don't know if this is a new one, but I've never seen one uh, where we have to go rescue people from a yacht. So this is going to be able to make it where we can test out the new water physics here in Stormworks. Uh, they've added new aerodynamic and uh, hydrodynamic, I believe is what it's called, uh, physics here. And oh, the seas look menacing today. Uh, they did update the uh, the way the water looks too. It actually has like a, more of a reflection on it now. Uh, we need to get our boat in the water. So it spawns it out over here. Do we just click on to it here? Okay, so that returns it to the workbench and we should just be able to spawn it back. So let's spawn our boat. This is the boat we built uh, probably in the second or third episode. And what the heck? The water's not coming all the way through it? Yeah, it's like the boat's actually setting up higher. That's new. Okay. That's cool to know. Uh, wow, that's awesome. Like, I used to always complain, like, there was always so much water coming up my boat. And I'm going to flip it here. Now, here we go. All right, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, the graphics definitely look much crisper. And the water is fantastic looking. Uh, the lights have more of a glow to them now. And look at my ridiculous character with a shark on his head. And I should probably pay attention to where this mission actually is. I don't even think I've accepted it yet. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, where is this? Please don't be on the other side of the map. There we go. All right. Uh, it's a ways away, but not too far. We should be able to get there in time. Uh, it's going to depend on how the seas feel. Now, there is, like I said, new water physics. I can already somewhat tell, and I believe uh, we're seeing it now, the whole fact that the boat seems to be setting higher. This boat used to kind of sink down and feel like it was trying to dig into the water and now it actually feels like we're on top of the water and yeah you can definitely feel it in the steering uh, it's a little more responsive I'll be curious uh, when we get into the high seas kind of like what we're getting into now how the boat's gonna react because uh, a lot of times it used to really just dig down in the water and it got really really hard to drive so uh, let's try to get out here and See what we're dealing with situation-wise with this uh, yacht. All right, we appear to be coming up on the yacht here. It is pretty choppy out here. Actually, the waves are going across us right now. I kind of want to hit them a little bit more direct and try to see how many survivors are going to be in the water. That's actually a... Wow, that's a big yacht. Let's see if we can get a view of it here. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Okay, no telling how many people are going to be in the water. I'm hoping not that many because I only have four seats here. So let's try to circle around. I don't want to get thrown into the yacht here. That's the last thing I want to do is flip this boat. That is a nice yacht, actually. Um, where is everybody is the question. Okay, there's one. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the area. I don't want to, I don't want to hit the survivor. Two. Okay, there's two. Okay, that might be it. All right. Oh, this is going to be a bit tough. Let's go ahead and get a little closer. And, okay, let's go ahead and we're going to keep our lights on here. It is already starting to get dark. Okay, so there's our first survivor. Come on, buddy. Can you uh, swim out to me or click and hold E to pick him up? So, we should have him. Uh, where'd he go? Uh, okay. Well, I hope we have him. Let's go ahead and see if we can get up here in the boat. Whoa, what the heck? All right, come on, get up in the ladder. Get up in the ladder. Small ladder, use it. All right, there we go. Yeah, no, yeah, this is so choppy. You know, it's like I can't even use the ladder. Okay, there he is. All right, so there is no picking up animation anymore. Can we put him in the seat? There we go. Well, I think he went. Is he still in there? Okay, well, maybe it's something they got rid of so far. You used to be able to pick him up and you used to be able to see it. Uh, and that was kind of weird. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can grab this one. It's a female, maybe their husband and wife here. No, no, why not I still have you in my hands? <laughs> Hold on, this is taking a bit. All right, husband's in the seat. Let's go ahead and grab, I'm assuming, the wife. That's an awfully nice uh, yacht to lose there. That is fantastic looking. Sorry, folks. All right, they're both in the seat, and we are ready to drop them off here. Uh, let's get them out of the water before we capsize ourselves. Okay, we're going over to which island? What is this? That looks like a little bit of a newer icon. I'm assuming that's just the hospital. Uh, let's go ahead and get him going over here. We get to test out the AI here and see if they can actually climb ladders at the docks. That was always one thing that was kind of hard for them to do. Uh, say goodbye to probably your million dollar yacht. Bye!
All right, we are almost here to the drop-off point. I'm assuming this is the hospital up here. And there is... That's probably my first boat from the first episode. Somehow, I think I left it out here. So, you know, we might need to spawn that back at the garage. Now, I'm kind of curious about the new islands. There is new islands to buy, and there's actually a couple more to discover. So, I'm curious as to where they are on this map. Now, I think all the maps are pretty random. So, I might have to do a bit of exploring here in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and get up to the dock. There's technically a ladder over here. I would hope you guys... Can you guys use the ladder is the question. And we fixed this. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this off here. Alright, people. I know you have just been through a very traumatic experience. Uh, but you're going to have to get off my boat. So, oh, I thought I was going to chunk her off. Okay, there we go. Alright, so follow me. Follow me. Can I have multiple follow me? Okay, so we've got that. Let's see. Alright. Wait. Wait. Oh, and I might have to chunk him off the boat. You know, I, I can picture that being a little bit of an issue. Let's go ahead and pick you up. Now you're in the water. And we're going to pick you up. Now you're in the water. Right? There we go. Okay, now you can follow me. So follow me. Follow me. Let's see if they use the ladder now. Let's turn on our flashlight. Okay. So we're going to climb the ladder. Come on. This used to be a... Oh, look at that! They're using the ladder! And supposedly they, uh, they actually follow you better now, so... Hopefully nobody flies off the uh, stairs. There we go. That is amazing. Yes, that is a much needed improvement. I am so happy that the AI is quite a bit smarter now. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the hospital here. And oh, somebody needs to turn on the lights here in the hospital. Does the hospital have lights? Oh, the flashlight's so much brighter now. Hold on. Uh, that's a door. There's a light. Okay, there we go. All right, people. You're going to get to go into the hospital here. Do apologize for the, uh, the bad... Uh, experience but yeah there we go so that's a, a new mission there anyways let's go ahead and head back to base we might do a little bit more exploring it's obviously a little too dark tonight to do that and let's see if we, what else we can find here all right so we just got a new mission here now i do want to eventually go out and try to explore and find some of the islands but it just takes so long to get around the whole map that i might do it in between episodes to see if i can scout out those new islands I really hope they're here since I have a previous saved game. I'm going to get on the Discord and maybe talk to one of the devs. Uh, but we do have a new mission here, and this is actually kind of a cool little mission. Uh, this is going to be delivering a fuel barrel to a nearby yacht. Alright, so our target is over there, and we have to take... Oh, this should be pretty simple. We just have to take this fuel barrel over to a yacht. So, man, we're really uh, doing a lot with yachts recently. It's like we're catering to these people. They need to stop getting in trouble here. Okay, I'm assuming that's going to stay back there. Maybe this will take us near one of the new uh, islands. Let's go ahead and crank this up. The water looks absolutely terrible today. It's raining. Uh, well, maybe the water's not too rough. Hopefully it isn't. I know it's just pouring down, but... Uh, that ridiculous shark on my head. Uh, we're going to go to creative mode here in a minute. Uh, since I can't really find some of the new islands, and I'm kind of curious. Like, I don't want to go too far into the missions yet until I kind of discover maybe some of the new islands because I want to see like I would like to have another craft I'd like to have like maybe an airplane or a helicopter or something new and I think is this a direction we've really gone in I want to say kind of and kind of not you know I don't know if we've ever been out this far question is there's an island up here maybe we'll spot something new on the way here because we've been up here but we never went to the power plant way up here and I don't even know if we've been over here to this island. So, kind of some uncharted territory here. Of course, we got our nice little barrel here in the back. So, we're going to head out here. Hopefully, the seas don't get too rough and we'll discover what else we've got. Uh, but like I said, with the uh, creative mode, we're going to jump in there too. That way we can see some of the new components uh, that aren't available to us yet in the career mode. You know, one of the most important things you would think when you get on a boat to check is... Hey, do we have enough fuel to make it any worse? Like, we're delivering fuel to a yacht that's apparently stranded. And look how close he is to all the islands. Like, how is this even possible? You know, I almost want to just jump on the yacht and steal it. Like, that that maybe should be a plan. I don't know. Uh, am I going to have to throw this up to you guys? Or Ooh, nice yacht. Very, very nice yacht. 
Hey, you're more lucky than the couple that we ran into earlier. Yeah, there they are. They're standing on the back of it. They're trying to signal like, hey, give us the uh, the barrel of stuff. Oh, there's people, there's people in the water. What the heck are they doing out here? Okay, whatever. All right, oh, it's getting rocky here. I right, just need to pick this up here and, and chunk it. Ch chunk it. I think I remember how to chunk. There we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, you got your fuel here. Let me on the boat. I want to check this yacht out. You know, since you are having a party without me and... Uh, okay, well, it says I completed the mission. Your, your fuel's in the water still. Uh, let's just check this out real quick. I've never seen a boat that the developers have built like this big. Uh, wow. I must say, uh, there's not much to this yacht, people. Where's the party at? Hey, we can go up on the deck. Can we drive this thing? Oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, let's check this out. All right, let's walk up here. No! <laughs> Why did it just hop off the side? Why did the stairs lead to nowhere? So ah, all right. We're up on the deck. Uh, passenger seat. Where's the drop? Oh, well, that's your problem. You don't have anybody to actually pilot this thing, apparently. All right, well, this is apparently just a little showpiece. I don't know what the lady over there is doing in the water. Uh, the conditions don't seem very safe to be doing that, but whatever. I guess we're going to head back to base here. But yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Some of the new missions they've added. We'll probably play some more of these missions. Uh, I do want to find the new islands eventually because I do want access to a uh, to a helicopter. We're probably going to have to bite the bullet and finally build one or buy one. But anyways, it is really dark out here. So uh, we're going to head over back to base. And then we're going to jump into the creative mode real quick and check out some of the new parts. All right, so here we are in the Stormworks creative mode. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to check out some new components, but another thing is that they've added a cool little feature to creative mode. Now, they've got this new little menu here, and check this out. Uh, you can actually override the time, which is cool. So, say if you want to, I don't know, boat around at night, or you can set it to whatever you want. It actually looks really pretty at sunset. Uh, but what we're going to do here, there's an override for the weather. So say if you really want to test out one of your vehicles, uh, you can jack up the wind here. And look at the seas, like, look at this instant reaction. Just boom. Big waves. That is insane looking. Those waves are huge. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, you can also do fog. So say if you really want to get lost and die, you can do that. And you can add rain. So you can make it like a hurricane here. That's uh, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if we want to start off with this much wind. Now, we do have some new parts here, and that's where I'm kind of curious as to some of the new creations, which I think I've got a couple that are brand new from the workshop uh, for some of the new possibilities that we have here in the game. Now, as far as the editor, nothing much has changed. Uh, they do have a new little inventory screen here. Which, to me, it looks a little bit cleaner than how they had it all in the bottom last time. So, we've got our blocks here. I don't think they've added really anything as far as blocks. Uh, really, where most of the new stuff is, I believe, is down in this area. Like, propulsion, I believe they this is new. It's a huge rotor. Uh, you'll notice there's duct fans now. Uh, they have, like, a new winch. Which, I want to say this is new. Maybe this isn't. Because, uh, if you recall a couple episodes ago, uh, we towed a boat... But we use this small connector. So you've got a big winch now. Uh, there's some pistons. I think a lot of this is new. Like, I, it's hard for me to uh, tell because I play so much career mode. But they had a full list. Uh, Logic-wise, I can't tell you what's going on here. This would be something more like cons. Uh, maybe in his ballpark. Uh, I believe there's uh, some new stuff down here. You've got like a GPS sensor. I believe that's new. And some other cool things. And lastly, I think this part here, there's an actual, like, suspension piece. I believe that might be new, too. I don't know, there's just so many parts now. It looks so much more expanded now, especially if you look at the list. But anyways, there's some creations that I might spawn here. So I'm going to load these up. I will list these down in the description for the workshop. I, I tried to spawn in one of these, and it's so I'm so sad I can't spawn it in. There's a huge cargo ship here. And every time I spawn it, the game crashes. And I don't know if maybe this was made in a previous version of the game or what's going on there. So I can't spawn that. But we've got some things here. And I believe this would be a big test here. There's a single engine airplane here. 
And I've never seen one of these in Stormworks. This actually looks like a World War II fighter. Let's spawn this. What happens? Like, I don't think I've ever seen a plane in here. I've seen helicopters. Of course, you have your boats. You do have some land vehicles, but airplanes? Like, are you kidding me? Uh, let's see how I can get into this thing. Uh, there looks to be some stairs here. There we go. Okay, so we're on the wing. Look at the uh, cockpit. That's actually kind of impressive looking. Uh, what's this do? Okay, so that's the door. Uh, oh, this is so cool. So, we got an engine switch here. I need to hold it. Oh, you need to... Oh, so I think that's a new switch. So you actually have to twist that switch all the way. Uh, can we close the door from here? Okay, the door's got a, another close there. Uh, brakes. Let's release those. I believe this one might be somewhat WASD controlled. I don't know. It's going to take me a second. Uh, I still haven't properly learned how to use some of these things. Alright, I think I know how to fly this. So we're going to hit one for throttle up. And... <laughs> Hold on. Okay, that's that's not how we want to do that. Uh, let's uh, let's throttle it back down. Uh, question is, can we get it throttled? Okay, there's the throttle. It's actually behind us here. Uh oh. What? Wait. What? Okay. I don't know just how the aerodynamic model works here in Stormworks. Let's see if we can go forward now. Okay, throttle forward. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, we're gonna sink. Oh, we're dying. That was uh, that was genius. Wow, I did not expect that to go that bad. All right, we're gonna open this side up here. Let's return this to the workbench. Let's try that again. Okay, I know how to work it now somewhat, I think. All right, so we fired it back up. We're gonna we're gonna slowly try to do this. Uh, let's see if we can get this to turn here. Okay, so we want to. Uh oh, uh oh. We want to lift. Let's go ahead and throttle it up here. All right, come on, buddy. I need you to go. Oh, it cuts so hard. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think I got this. I, th <laughs> I think I got this now. Okay. So, you gotta watch, because this thing kind of feels... It's a little odd. Like, you figure you have to hit W to go forward, uh, but W is purely up. So, I'm not even controlling this right now. It's kind of flying on its own. So, you can put in slight inputs, and maybe we should do this from the inside. Oh, this is too cool. This is so cool seeing in Stormworks. Ah, oh, that's so impressive. Oh, could you imagine some of the big planes that are going to come from this? Okay, so let's kind of correct this thing. I want this in career mode. Oh, the wind's actually fighting us a bit. So yeah, there is a new aerodynamic model here in Stormworks. So I'm assuming wind's going to play a lot bigger factor into how stuff flies. So if, say if I were to jack up the wind. Can I do that from in here? Uh, I can. Look at that, you can shift, you can see the shift in the plane. Okay, that is so cool. Okay, so let's get over here. Oh yeah, we're really fighting that wind. Wow, that's intense. Uh, look at the water effects. Oh, this is so awesome, I'm so glad to have this game back. All right, uh, we're going right against the wind here. I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the wind one more time. Let's go all the way. Those look like tsunami waves. Oh, those are so cool. Man, I really wish we could use that uh, cargo ship or that container ship that I downloaded. That would have been pretty sweet. So yeah, we've got a V-22 I also want to check out. But I just wanted to see, uh, since this... Oh, actually, the wind's carrying us now. I can feel it just kind of shifting us over. Uh, that's really, really cool. So yeah, there's a V-22 I do want to try out here. I would say let's try to... Oh, I, don't, I think I'm going to hit a wave here. Oh, we just barely made it over that wave. Can we land this thing? Oh, the wind is so bad. Okay. Let's go throttle down. Throttle down. Oh, we're going against the wind here. Oh, oh, that was, that was rough. That was a rough, oh, we need the brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. <laughs> okay, brakes are on. Okay, well, that is something. Why does my guy not have clothes on right now? That's a thing. I think the wind's actually pushing this craft over now. That is insane. But anyways, I got one more we're going to try out here. So yeah, you want to feel how strong the wind is here in Stormworks? The plane is getting pushed back by itself. 
That's uh, how intense the wind can get. That is so cool. Anyways, let's get back over to the garage real quick. We're going to let that roll away. And let's go try out the V-22. I'm going to turn the wind down, too. I don't think I'm going to be able to fly it without doing that. All right, so we have a V-22 off spree right here. Kind of curious about this thing. Oh, that thing looks beefy. That is so cool looking. That is uh, kind of real. Well, actually, it's really realistic. I was going to say kind of realistic. This looks nice. This is uh, very well crafted. So let's go ahead and spawn this thing out real quick. Uh, I don't... Oh, oh, the wind. The wind. Forgot about the wind. Hold on. <laughs> it's so insane that it's actually picking it up in the garage. All right, let's reset this real quick and we'll uh, let's try flying this thing. All right, so this is the V-22. Uh, we're going to try this. Actually, does the cargo door open? What's that do? Okay, that doesn't seem to work. Uh, let's push this button here. Oh, is the door jammed? Okay, maybe we can try this button over here. Maybe this one won't jam. Okay, this one didn't jam on us. Actually, do you have to hold those down? No, some, for some reason the uh, the pilot's door is jammed. Let's go ahead and go in the side here and just inspect this craft. I was kind of hoping I could go into the back. I don't know why that... Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at this. This is cool. I kind of have to duck to get in here. Okay, let's close that. I don't know what that does it feels like it's doing something let's turn that off uh what is this is this like a viewer i don't know what this is uh, this is just hanging down here is this a gy this might be the gyroscope oh no never mind oh that was a winch with a ladder on it that was actually holding oh that probably should have hit that i guess you should uh you could be able to open up the back door and actually unload it all right that's cool all right you got passenger seats can we reach the pilot seat from here here we go all right, sounds like the door's still going off. Can I shut that off? Oh, that turned our blades on. Uh, I don't know what half these buttons do. Oh, whatever this did, it, it's actually uh, activated this. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, sounds like we're... Are we dying here? Uh, we're off. Uh, how does this thing turn? Oh, I might have should have read the instructions again. Uh oh, uh oh, uh, eject, avoid, avoid the cliff, avoid the cliff. This is cool again, but I uh, should have known that was going to happen. Maybe I should go read the instructions first. That might be actually wise. Okay, we're going to pay a little bit more attention this time, so let's get in the pilot seat. Uh, I know what I'm doing, I think, now. All right, so I think we need to be in this one. So what we're going to do, this fires it up here. And this is the straight up and down mode, I believe. So there's a transition here, and I believe it's possibly that button. No, it wasn't that one. Maybe it's this one here. There we go. All right, so this one makes us move forward. Now, the roll controls seem a little odd. Uh, let's see. Let's disable that. Yeah, it seems like it wants to go up. But then again, it doesn't. Uh, let's uh, let's jump over here. Oh, okay, the controls are over here. Okay, I was completely wrong about that. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. So the description uh, basically basically explained it being a WASD controlled. Uh, it does use the uh, the arrow keys a little bit to help control it too. It still feels like that wind is just absolutely killing us here. Uh, what happens if we go back into the other mode? So that's the straight up. This is like the normal mode, I believe. Or the straight up and down. Oh, this is nice. Uh, he says it's not flawless, but it, it's definitely... It feels really stable. Uh, let's see. How is he doing this? Yeah, this is it's insane. And I think you can see some of the new parts. I think those duck parts are new. Uh, we're in a straight hover right now. Let's go ahead and hit this forward. Actually, it's going to be this one. There we go. All right. It's making us go. Oh, well, that's really aggressive now. Oh, the, the possibilities with this game are endless now, especially now that they're adding new parts, getting new updates. I really look forward to the full release. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's probably going to about wrap it up for today's episode. We're probably going to end it here. I've got a lot of things that I want to do in here, but it's kind of what you guys want to see next. You want to see more career mode. Uh, do you want to see straight up building? I would like a helicopter in career mode. 
and that's where I need to look in before I really advance any, uh, advance any more in it, because I do want to see uh, if I need to restart to get the new islands, or if they're going to randomly appear in my previous save, so... Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the episode here. Uh, happy to be back in Stormworks. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, we'll be returning with several other games coming soon. Hopefully another Stormworks will come up uh, maybe on the weekend. I'll have to see. I've got a pretty full schedule right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And we will see you guys next time in Stormworks. Thank you.